Hi, thank you for joining us today. My name is Jimmy Kao, and I'm a partner strategist with AWS's Generative AI Innovation Center. I have with me Don Wu, who's the Chief Data and Analytics Officer at New York Life. He's been leading some fascinating work with their data and AI transformation. Hi, Don. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Can you give us a little glimpse on this journey so far? New York Life is a 175-plus-year-old organization. Our mission is to secure the financial future for families. And we're a mutual company, which means we're owned by our policyholders. And that really drives our areas of focus. First and foremost, we need to have long-term resilience. And then secondly, we need to constantly innovate. What comes with that is making sure that we're always on the forefront of technology, data, and AI capabilities. So what we really focused on was a holistic AI and data transformation in the last 15 or so months. So once your team found the need for change, how did you get started uh, on this? What was the game plan? We actually established three pillars that we were most focused on. So the first pillar was really um, solidifying our foundations, and that's everything from our data to our, our people um, and even the way that we do things. Um, the second pillar is really around our AI and insights capabilities. We wanted to make sure that we were able to activate our, you know, our proprietary data asset in, in amazing ways. And then thirdly, we realized that we needed cultural change. We want to be an AI, insights, and data-driven organization. So orienting on those three pillars really helped us um, focus our attention and you know, drive change across a lot of different dimensions. As you know, uh, a lot of organizations are struggling with finding ROI with generative AI initiatives. Can you talk about some specific results that you achieved that really stand out for you? Yeah, absolutely. So when I think about our results, there's a, there's a few things that were really critical for our success. When we started this journey, we had a large on-prem data platform. We knew we had to move that into the cloud to be more agile. And that led to decreased cycle times and more agility and the ability to answer the needs that we had. The second key was um, actually leveraging and taking action and activating that data via generative AI app application. So we created a generative AI application focused on service. It was actually meant to facilitate service professionals getting the answer they need more quickly. We pushed that into production. It was great to see double-digit improvements of uh, average handle time reduction. And then finally, our MLOps platform, building this uh, assembly line for AI solutions was really critical for our success as well. I know your team had conversations with Generative AI Innovation Center. Um, how did those conversations shape what you wanted to do with AI? The Gen AI Innovation Center was critical to our success and really in, in two dimensions. When we were getting started, it was so useful to have folks and experts in the field that are so close to um, all the, the leading edge uh, capabilities of this fast moving technology. They really helped us ramp up our understanding and pick the right tools for the things we were trying to achieve. And secondly, the Gen AI Innovation Science team was actually embedded in our delivery team. They really helped us deliver our generative AI service solution um, and they were critical to our success. Awesome. Don, as you know, New York Life has uh, adopted AWS's uh, experience-based acceleration at scale. I've been personally involved in many of those. Um, can you talk about how that has helped your team work together and deliver faster? Absolutely. I think one of the things that really we really realized um, when working uh, through these new generative AI solutions that is that it really put a premium on agile cross-functional collaboration so having business, technology, data, AI practitioners, all folks rowing in the same direction and in sync. And so the EBA was a great way for us to ramp up and accelerate that um, in a, to a greater degree than even we had had before. So it required a lot of preparation, a lot of heavy lifting in advance, but it was well worth it. And it was amazing to see with a couple days of concentrated effort just what came out of the other side of it. So um, kudos to the EBA. On that, uh, what's your experience been with uh, AWS Professional Services? I know you have used them in multiple engagements. I'm curious to hear um, how they help move things along, uh, especially for service age. Yeah, as we mentioned before, the space moves so quickly and the way, not just the tools, but the way you can best utilize these tools shifts so rapidly. And so leveraging AWS Professional Services, folks that were are really steeped in how these tools can best be leveraged across industries was really, really critical. Um, you know, we always have more work than we have people for. So having folks that could um, get into you know, the, you know, could partner with us and link arms in order to achieve like common goals was really critical for us. So finally, to wrap up things, uh, what's on horizon for New York Life? What are you most excited about? So I think, you know, the first wave and horizon of uh, AI was really focused on chatbots and 
this amazing ability to synthesize knowledge and answer questions more directly than perhaps we'd seen before with paradigms like search. And this next horizon where we see agentic AI or the ability to not just answer a question, but actually you know, uh, deliver an outcome or take action is something that we're really mindful of. It's, it's very clear we'll be leveraging, leveraging agentic AI to work in even more um, incredibly efficient ways. And um, that's gonna scale in, in so many different uh, dimensions. This was a fascinating conversation, Don. Thank you for your insights.